So Pisces, if you are going through a difficult experience right now, I do see that that's a possibility with the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Four of Wands in reverse. You have the power to stay calm, tap into that center, that safe haven so that you can navigate this difficult time with grace. Seek out the company of others with similar experiences. There's healing there for you. And there is a call for you to gain this greater perspective because you're in it right now. There's also a call for you to tap into your creativity. That's going to help you in some way to really focus on the target, to move forward, to manifest this thing, whatever this thing that you're trying to manifest into reality with the magician here. With the target, look at this. Look how focused he is. There's some emotion that's, that's dominating to the exclusion of all other emotions, even though those emotions are part of it. They're there too. Hey Pisces, welcome to your general tarot reading for February 2021. Thank you for joining me and happy birthday. Your birthday's coming up real quick here. So uh, if this is your first time joining me, my name's Amanda. I'm at Luna Sync Tarot. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If this reading resonates with you, please hit the like button. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I do love readings and general tarot readings for each sign for each month. So if you're interested in a personal reading, there is inf information below in the description box. I've been shuffling your cards off camera. I'm going to give it a few last shuffles. I wanted to let you know that I'm giving away a free 30-minute tarot reading for your sign for your birthday. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment on this video. In fact, you can leave a comment on any of the videos for Pisces in the month of February and in the month of March, and I will put your name in the drawing for each reading that you leave a comment on. <clears throat> I'm going to be pulling names on March 15th. So, all right, well, one last shuffle. We'll split the deck three ways and we will sync up. Okay. In the position of your heart in the present moment, we have the six of swords in reverse. I get a sense that there's something that you're not seeing holistically. You might be in the weeds with something and not really seeing the forest for the trees. In the position of your mind, we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Interesting. So, feeling very singular, a lack of collaboration. Uh, you might feel like your creativity is stymied, stymied at the moment. In the foundation, we have the Sun of Discs. There's a need for focus. Really focusing on the one thing. Focusing on the target so that you can hit your mark. In the recent past, we have the Eight of Wands. Some sort of communication could have been a love communication. These are Cupid's arrows, but it's fast moving, swift moving communication. Could be actually moving from one place to another, if that resonates with you. In the near future, we have Strength in Reverse. Something gets a little out of control and it has to do with your emotional reality. Some emotion gets a little out of your control and starts to drive the bus. So we'll clarify. Let's look into all of that and see what's going on, Pisces. I'm going to breakfast with my Pisces friend this morning. So you all are on my mind. Okay. What is this thing in the present moment in the position of your heart, Six of Swords reverse, that you're not quite seeing? And the Hermit. Ooh, there's quite a glare in here. The hermit came out in reverse. Hold on one second. Let me shut my door. The light is coming straight in from the door. <clears throat> I'm back. The hermit came in reverse. The question was, what are you in the weeds about? What are you not seeing holistically? What are you um, focused on to the detriment of the of a of a wider perspective or a greater perspective? <clears throat> and the hermit in reverse. Huh. It could be that you are spending quite a bit of time alone. 
you're really focused on how alone you are. And I do get a sense that this is just a perspective that can be shifted. We have two cards of perspective coming up to clarify one another or, or coexisting alongside one another. Six of Swords upright is like coming out of a time of heartache and you have enough distance from it to take a 30,000 foot view and to see it for what it is. It's like, you know, you have more of a perspective. You have more of an understanding. It doesn't hurt as much. You can see all of the pieces. I mean, it's almost as if you are really focused on this idea that you are alone, but it's not, it's not the actual truth of your reality, even though it might feel that way. It's really just the way that you're looking at it. And there needs to be a perspective shift or, or can be a, it's just a matter of a perspective shift is what I'm hearing. This is in the position of your heart in the present moment. What was this communication, the Eight of Wands, that came in, or this movement, this fast movement that came in, in the recent past? Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords. <clears throat> we got a lot of cards here, so I'm going to read them all. Knight of Swords. It was impulsive. It was certainly fast. It had to do with like an idea, a perspective, a thought, form. It brought about a painful ending or it was about something that became very final. Like Ten of Swords is like finality. Like there's, it's over, it's done with, it's complete. And sometimes it's painful when that happens. Could be a commitment came to an end. <clears throat> something was hidden. Not all, you didn't feel like all of the information was being shared, even though we have the Eight of Wands coming in fast with communication, with information. Something still felt hidden and there was an emotional block around this feeling emotionally blocked somebody could have been blocked somebody could that was blocked could have come in with communication and, and you still felt like it was sneaky or deceptive fast moving brought about change brought about an ending or was about an ending maybe there was an Indian in the past that this knight of swords came in that wanted to communicate around that ending um it This is a lack of commitment. You are very singular here and very focused on your singularity. You have, a, you have a way of seeing things that doesn't include all of the pieces, all of the information right now. What is the strength in reverse? This is in the near future. We talked about this being something, some like emotion kind of dominates. Some emotion is dominating you and it's, it's to, to the detriment of all your other feelings or to the, to the exclusion of all your other feelings, not the detriment, to the exclusion of all your other feelings. There's one emotion that is dominating and that emotion is really driving the bus for you here in the near future. So what is this about? Strength in reverse. Sometimes speaks to also not having the courage to do something or to feel something or it's just a lack of courage. King of Cups. Mm, interesting. So strength in reverse is one emotion dominating to the exclusion of all other emotions and sort of driving the bus. King of Cups is emotional fortitude, emotional balance. This is clarifying the strength. This is like your seesawing here. There's a need to step into this energy. This is emotional mastery. I think this reading is just for you to understand the mess. The predominant message here so far from past to future is that, first of all, you're not seeing the forest for the trees. Your perspective is somewhat limited in this moment. You're focused on something to the exclusion of all other things. You're not seeing the whole picture. And also there's a predominant emotion, emotional reality that is kind of really driving, that is motivating you at this moment to the exclusion of all other emotions. 
Um, so there's a call for emotional mastery, emotional balance, emotional fortitude. This is what is coming in in the near future for you. These are all the details of what happened in the past. All these cards that we just that just came up that had to do with like somebody was blocked or somebody was emotionally blocked. There was a lack of commitment. There was information that was unseen. There was some sort of ending, very final, some sort of impulsive action. Somebody came in with communication. It could have brought about the ending or maybe it was about the ending. Communication about this thing that ended. What is this three of cups in reverse? This is a lack of collaboration, a stymied creativity. Like this thing is not, it's not creating. It's not like building, right? I'm going to use a different deck. Pisces. What is this three of cups in reverse in the position of your mind and what you think about it all? Oops, that card was flipped up. Let me flip it over. It was the nine of pentacles, which is the single lady in the deck. Okay, here we go. Nine of swords, anxiety, sleepless nights. The thing is bringing you concern and worry. That's on your mind, anxiety. Three is a derivative of nine. We have the three of cups. We have the nine of swords. Tell me more about this three of cups in reverse. Oh, three of wands. Three, three, three. Looking out. Waiting. Three of wands always reminds me of like, okay, there's, there's two ways that I kind of read this card. One of the ways is like turning your back on the thing that you were invested in and looking out to the horizon for something else. Also, I read Three of Wands as getting to that phase in your project where you are seeking feedback. You've put it out into the world and now you're seeking feedback. You want communication about it from others. Like how do they see it? How do they understand it so that you can make this thing even better? There may have been a third influence inside of a project, an initiative, an endeavor that is bringing you some concern or anxiety. A third influence inside of love doesn't need to be like a somebody was cheating just means that there was like another influence there was another energy present that was really interfering with this collaboration with this connection king of wands on the bottom of the deck if that means anything to you let's keep going with this deck though and clarify the son of discs this is in your foundation also in the position of your body a need to focus on the target. <clears throat> the root meaning of the word sin is to miss the mark. This sun is determined not to miss the mark. There is a target within a target and he is in a forest of many trees. <laughs> okay, here we go, whoops. The Empress. The Empress in reverse. Again, another three. Wow. <clears throat> Something about your generative powers, your creative abilities here, speaking very loudly. She's also holding a hoop. Well, it's the, the sign for um, the divine feminine, for the, for the feminine, right? But I just can't help but notice that there's circles within circles within circles within circles here within, with the son of discs and with the empress in reverse. There's a lot of wheels. Wheels indicate change, targets, um, infinity.
There's a need to connect with your creativity in order to get focused, to hit the mark, to hit your target. <clears throat> oh, the magician. Yes. Beautiful. In order to manifest what it is that you want. It's good that the magician showed up here because he has the tools and the energy that he needs to bring into reality what it is that he wants. This is in your foundation. Strong call to connect with your divine feminine energy, with your creativity, with your generated, generated, generative powers, with your creative abilities. There's something about connecting with that that it will allow you to get focused on your target and to hit the mark and to manifest what it is that you want into reality. This is in your foundation. Wow. Okay, well, let's pull a few cards of guidance for you. Pisces. If this reading is resonating, please hit the like button so that it can circulate amongst others. If you're interested in a personal reading, there's a link below in the description box. Also, if you're interested in a free 30-minute personal tarot reading, leave a comment on this video. I'm making videos um, for you in February around love, and then this, of course, is the general reading. And then also in March, you can leave a comment on any or all of those videos, and I will enter your name in the drawing. I'm drawing on March 15th. So, card of guidance for Pisces as they navigate this time in February. These cards smell so good. They smell like um, incense. I just recently purchased them from the store up the street. <clears throat> And they smell yummy. Another three Pisces. Three, 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 three. We have four threes. We have a lot of derivative. Three is a derivative of six. We have a six. We have a nine. Let me take a look at this. Sorry, this is elk. This is what came out for you. We have uh, another nine. We have two nines, we have a six, we have four threes. That's like the Holy Trinity, right? Three, six, nine. Okay, let's read about elk. Elk is about enjoying the company of the same sex. People who have similar experiences um, in order to heal, in order to feel that sense of com comradeship, com camaraderie, and to share your experience and to share in their, ex their similar experience and to have a healing experience as a result. It's communication in unity. So there's, it's like, it's like a group therapy. That's kind of what comes to my mind. It's like finding a group, if you're a woman, finding a group of women, you know, that you really feel are your tribe in the sense of having had a very similar experience and being able to communicate with them about that experience and to sort of become whole again. But let's read a little bit about elk. And then we'll pull a crystal card for you. This is about stamina, uh, also about physical vitality. Elk medicine teaches that pacing yourself will increase your stamina. <clears throat> Elk medicine people may not be the first ones to arrive at a goal, but they always arrive without getting burned out. If you've taken on too much recently, it might be a good idea, good idea to look at how you plan to finish what you've started without ending up in the hospital. Elk have a curious kind of warrior energy because, except at mating time, they honor the company of their own gender. They can call on the medicine of brotherhood or sisterhood. In discovering the strength which is gained from loving the gender that is your own, you will feel comra comradeship, comradeship that arises from similarity of experience. This is a special medicine that allows the friendship of others of your same sex to overcome potential competition or jealousy. 
If you've picked elf medicine, you may be telling yourself to seek the company of your own gender for a while. You may need a support group or to realign yourself with the stamina of the warrior, warrioress energy that you are a part of. This communication with others of your own sex allows you to air your feelings in safety and to get feedback from others who've had the same experiences. You may need a new sense of community, communication, and unity. Elk could also be telling you to look at how you're holding up physically to the stresses in your life and to pace yourself so that you maintain an equilibrium of energy over the distance you plan to cover. Vitamins or high energy foods may be one solution along with some personal quiet time for replenishment. Okay, this communication that came in in the past could be exactly what this is describing. Maybe that you sought out the company of others in order to heal this emotional block to heal around this ending this failed commitment emotional mastery coming in the future for you this is an emotion sort of getting out of control and driving the bus dominating all others and this is a grounded emotional mastery. So if you are in a situation where you're in a group with others of similar experience and you're experiencing a healing as a result of that communication, there is emotional mastery coming for you in the future. Let's pull a crystal wisdom healing oracle card for you, Pisces. get a little bit deeper into this all these threes look into the meaning of the number three we have eye of the storm which is 12 which reduces down to three wow look into the number the meaning of number three uh google it see if it has any special meaning for you if you resonate with it in some way Okay, Eye of the Storm, Storm is Safe Haven. It's a beautiful stone. Jim, Eye of the Storm is a safe haven for your soul, a calm center no matter what upheavals may occur, a life support system during stressful times or serious illness. Hold on to it during the challenges so that you can keep things in perspective. Ooh, strong message of perspective in your reading. Remember at the heart of your reading, we have the Six of Swords in reverse. And we have the Hermit in reverse. Hermit is about going within to gain understanding and perspective. They're both in reverse. So not seeing the forest for the trees. You're kind of in the weeds with this thing right now. <clears throat> Needing to take on a greater perspective. You may be allowing the challenges and traumas of your life to push you off center. Stress and pressure are a major cause of your dis-ease. You could be focusing too closely on one aspect of life to the detriment of others. Look at the wider picture. Time to relax and let go of your stress. Stay mindful rather than watchful. Excess adrenaline adversely affects your immune system. Switch on the positive potential in your cell walls. Meditate quietly to rejuvenate your DNA. Healing insight. You can stay centered and calm no matter what storm rages around you. The frequency is earthy and high. The chakra is all. The timing is any, and the soul path is walking safely through the storm. Wow. So Pisces, if you are going through a difficult experience right now, I do see that that's a possibility with the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Four of Wands in reverse. You have the power to stay calm, tap into that center, that safe haven so that you can navigate this difficult time with grace. Seek out the company of others with similar experiences. There's healing there for you. And there is a call for you to gain this greater perspective because you're in it right now. There's also a call for you to tap into your creativity because there's a disconnection right now with your creativity. That's going to help you in some way to really focus on the target, to move forward, to manifest this thing, whatever this thing that you're trying to manifest into reality with the magician here, with the target. Look at this. Look how focused he is. 
right now though on your mind is like you're looking out you have your back turned you're looking out there's anxiety there's insomnia and there is a disconnection from your creativity with the three of cups in reverse uh, create stymied creativity and a lack of collaboration be careful about emotion, like pay attention to your emotional life, your emotional reality a little bit more closely. There's some emotion that's, that's dominating to the exclusion of all other emotions, even though those emotions are part of it, they're there too. And a call for uh, emotional mastery, groundedness, emotional fortitude. So Pisces, I hope this reading resonated. If it did, leave a comment below. I'll enter you into the free drawing and wishing you the best in February. Check out your love reading for February and your readings for March will be coming soon. Take good care.